right, today on Man Caver Tools, we're going to go over Station 2 over at Hilti Neuron event over in Europe. I completely admit defeat on this one. I have zero experience working with hydraulic cutters. Zero. I never needed to use hydraulic cutters, so I'm pretty much going to leave this one to the experts. I'm not even going to pretend to know what I'm talking about. I have zero experience with these tools. These tools are very cool and innovative, so that's why I actually love these tools. <laughs> Uh, to open it, you can pull back here. Sorry, it should automatically open, but occasionally you'll catch a little bit of debris in the case. Good job, sweetie. Now, to look out for the cutting, I push this in. No, you can on your tool because this is all in one. I push this knob in back towards me, and then it should spring out. And then you can take this out, and you swap over to the crimping jaw from the top. And then you can crimp anywhere on on here. I'll see if I've got another. Okay. Uh, try try and get in the, the middle, middle, in the middle there, and just give it a squeeze. Oh, I yeah. Yeah. That'll do. Just keep pulling, it. Okay. and then it'll open when it's finished. Oh wow! Nice. So good practice when you're um, putting a lug on the end of a, a term uh, of a conductor. You should always start at the top and work your way back down because this will stretch a little bit. If you were to start here, it will stretch off and it might be that the last one is only half on the end yeah. of the conductor. Done. I like that, man. It's good. So I give it a tool, batteries charge. You have here for the rapid locking system, very common system in, in the US. I be silent, let it yeah, I, I love that. Just like that. Yep. Done. That's great. Our standard automatic uh, release. Yeah. There you go. Yep. Yeah. Perfect. That's it. Then that is a lot better than soldering. Yeah. Yeah, I just love that. that then one motion, you can do all three. Yes, exactly. That, then that. You don't have to like rotate the tool. I like that. Welcome to the pipes and cable station. We're excited to have you here. We talk about this station about our cordless hydraulic portfolio. You've learned earlier today about how to bring it to the next level in terms of connectivity and performance. For the hydraulics, we look at reliability, safety, and our services. My name is Moritz, I'm the product manager for this portfolio, and I'm glad to be here today with my colleague James. Hi everybody, I'm James, I'm from our energy and industry area. Um, we started working in North America, but also in Europe, but mainly in North America, to look at this portfolio around about 2014. What you'll see here is we have on the this area here, we have the, the uh, hydraulic pipe press tools. So this would be for pipes, refrigeration pipes. And then this side onwards is all the electrical, the knockout punch and cutters and crimpers. We're going to uh, walk you through the range today, and then we're going to demonstrate two tools. We're going to demonstrate the MPR24 from the pipe side of things and the NUN54 from the electrical side of things. And then we're going to let you all have a quick go on the hands-on and ask any other questions. But feel free to jump in at any time if you have a question. That's what we're here for. Thanks, James. So let me start off with going a bit into the pipe press portfolio. You can see here, as James explained it, that we're having five different tools. So, five tools on the same platform. We're basically going from, we can press from very little one inch pipes, sorry, one quarter inch pipes up to four inch pipes on one platform. So it's, it's basically all there. What you need, therefore, is a variety of tools. We are having a 19 kilonewton tool up to 32 kilonewton tool. What we are launching now with Neuron is a 24 kilonewton tool, which comes right at the middle, which is for the North American market, for US and Canada, a very good compromise. A compromise on on ergonomics. It's you see, it's a coming in a slim um, inline shape. Imagine you do a pipe installation up here. You want something which is lightweight, compact, and ergonomic, and that's why we're launching that tool. Small little things, but by working directly with the craftspeople in the field, we feed this continually into upgrading our tools. So as well as these conductors, 
we move across to the crimpers. Here we would have what would be a standard 12-turn U-die style crimper. This is our NCR 120. This is the NCR 60. This is a dialess crimper, so you don't need the dies. The beauty of a dialess crimper is pretty much any conductor that will fit in there, any size lug, as long as it's a round connection. So with a lug or a splice, but not a tap, not a side-by-side. -side. So for an electrician, I can use pretty much any size, and on this tool, I don't need the die. So I can turn up and I can work on one job, putting a lug on the end of a heavy piece of equipment, go to the next job, it's a slightly different size, I've got the conductor, I've got the lug, how do I put it on? Don't worry, just use this tool. And here's a copper conductor, and I just put it in. It's nice, easy work, job done. Yeah. If I were to have a steel cable I needed to cut, maybe a, a guy wire, I change over to the blades that are designed for that. So these are the blades that snap steel. We are not going to do any cutting of steel today because when you snap the steel, it flies off. So just for safety's sake, we thought we'd keep it nice and simple. Yeah, it's easier than changing a bit on a drill. That's what yeah, I was going to ask exactly. about. What has changed in the, the swap? Uh, this is the jaws at the top of this. This is why we call this the UN, the universal tool. Because the jaws here, we have... These ones are for copper and aluminium, so the whole jaw is designed and optimized for slicing through copper and aluminium. Okay. This one, the jaws are designed for uh, snapping a steel conductor, so it's clearly written steel. Because what I wouldn't want to do is use a nice, sharp copper and aluminium blade on steel, I might put a notch in. That would be a shame. And then these ones are for doing the crimping. Um, nice and easy to change it out, so I invest in one tool, and this would be more the sort of heavy electrical work that contractors would be doing. And I can change the dies here for different size conductors. And doing the crimp is as simple as let the tool do all the work. And I've got a perfect crimp. Done. So, that's it from this tool. We can all go have a play now. All right, but as you can see, that there is plenty of more footage to go. I think I have five or six more sections to uh, edit and upload. The experience that we had in Europe was seriously... Uh, a trip to remember and especially that we got to travel so far to you know test tools out which to me that is priceless so once again miss wilson i thank you so much for inviting us over there and do you know just have us do what we do plenty of more videos of this coming out you guys we're gonna start to be getting into a lot of different types of tools since hilti did make some brand new tools that they never had which i'm excited to show you guys that in the future but that's pretty much it. I hope you found this video helpful and entertaining. Please like this video. Please hit the bell button to be notified of future videos. And please subscribe to the channel. This is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time.